Hey everybody, I'm Chris with Illinois Agriculture in the Classroom and today I'm here to talk to you about farm machinery. Specifically, I want to talk to you about tractors. Now I'm going to assume that most of us know what a tractor looks like. We've probably seen them parked in a field, going down the road, doing some kind of field work. They look something like this, except bigger and uh, a lot of them have cabs on them nowadays. Uh, they're not made of plastic and uh, real tractors aren't powered by overpriced batteries that need to be charged every single day of your life. But other than all those things, it looks pretty much like this. The average size farm in Illinois is about 375 acres. So it makes sense if you're trying to farm that much land, you need a big tractor with lots of power in order to work that quantity of land. On my own specialty crop farm, we're much, much smaller. We're only a half an acre, which is about the size of half a football field. To have a big tractor like you would normally see out in the field doesn't make any sense at all for our farm. And so we have what's called a two-wheel tractor. There's a lot of differences with our little tractor than what you'd normally see out in like a corn or a soybean field, but there's actually a lot of similarities as well. Basically, tractors need to do a couple different things for farmers. One important thing that tractors do is they pull things. Right? We've, all, we've probably all seen tractors pulling large implements behind them. So they need to pull things, but also they need to, in some cases, power those things. And the way that they do that is through what's called a PTO, or a power takeoff. And what happens is the tractor transfers power from its engine into whatever thing that it's pulling. So in this case, I have my little 13 horsepower engine, and through a series of gears, it transfers power to whatever I have hooked up behind my two-wheel tractor. Same exact concept as what happens in a big full-size tractor. This is just for a much smaller scale. This is the tiller that we use on our farm. This is called a harrow plow. It's different from a rototiller that you'd normally use in a garden that actually inverts the soil, flips it like this way. A harrow plow stirs the soil this way. So there's a series of blades coming down in different shafts here that go like this through the soil. And the way that this is powered is through the PTO. And so you can see this hooks up into the PTO shaft on my two-wheel tractor. There's a pin that goes down in here to hold it in place. And then when I, uh, when I push the PTO lever to power this implement, when I go, it starts moving this tiller through the soil, pushes my two-wheel tractor forward, and also powers this plow behind it. We have a number of other things that go on this two-wheel tractor as well. So we have a bed shaper. We use raised beds on our farm. So this hills the earth uh, to make 30-inch wide raised beds. We also have a rotary plow. Uh, we use this to break in new ground. So if we're trying to convert part of our lawn into a new uh, garden space, we would use this. And then we also have a sickle bar mower that uh, you can see is really good for cutting really tall grasses or plants off right at their base. Uh, these two are powered also by our PTO. This one doesn't need to be powered, so all the tractor has to do with this one is to just pull it. So for my two-wheel tractor, in addition to uh, powering the wheels and powering an implement by pulling it, I sometimes need it to also push things. So this is my mower. This is called a flail mower. And this mower discharges everything that I mow up right back here. And so you can imagine, it's pretty dangerous for me to stand here and mow something down when everything is getting kicked back towards my feet. So this uh, tractor is versatile in that it allows me to push or pull things with the same unit. All I need to do is take off these handles here and I can spin my handlebars all the way around. And you can see now, once I get those levers attached again, I'm ready to mow and it, instead it's pushing everything the opposite direction. Now, the only thing that I need to change is, it's kind of unique to this machine, this is the front of my tractor. So if I start going forward, it's actually gonna go backwards. And so I need to change it to reverse. And now when I'm going in reverse, I'm actually going forward. So very different kind of tractor than what we're maybe used to seeing, but it works on the very similar uh, technology of using a PTO to power implements to do work on our farm. So different than what uh, traditional farmers might use in Illinois and around the country, but for a small scale farm like ours, this is all the tractor I need and is actually a better tool for what I need to do on my farm. So I hope you learned a little bit about farm machinery, specifically about tractors and PTOs. We'll see you next time.